everyone welcome back to another video and in this video we have ishigaki the newest legends pass monster and in this video we are going to be reviewing this monster so this monster's description was that it was a monster with the taunt trait so let's go ahead feed it to level 100 test it out in multiplayer battles and talk or uh, review this monster so let me feed it up to level 100 real quick and then we'll take a look at its evolving trait at rank 0 it has taunt and taunt is a really good trait to have at unranked if you've, uh, it's pretty rare to see uh, multiverse tanks which are free to play to have taunt then at rank 1 it has harden now obviously the worst umbrella trait but i guess it's better than some other like immunity to poison or something like that so at rank 3 it has status caster self stun immunity this one is not really the best. Maybe the rank 3 could have been improved. Maybe they could have made the stun immunity as a permanent thing. Or maybe they they could have made the status caster better. But anyway, let's look at it. So recommended skill. So let's go ahead and change its skills. These are the normal skills which I have. Okay, first skill is a moderate earth damage and area sandstorm. Let's add that with a two turn cooldown. And then there's another skill which gives single only one turn cooldown sandstorm and nightmares. Now the stamina cost for this is also really good it's all it's only a one turn cooldown as well and then it has a moderate dark damage and nightmares so it's got an area nightmare skill and it finally has a special typed self-healing skill which applies immunity to stun and a self 30 percent heal now this could have been better and higher and it only has one healing skill which i don't think is really the best for a tank monster but uh I think the cooldowns are not really that bad. There's no three turn cooldowns, just two turn. And we also cannot forget about the one turn cooldown skill, which gives two tortures. Now for ruins, guys, I only got one ruins locked unlocked. So I think I'm gonna go life here, but I recommend you guys choose two life, one team speed, or one life, two team speed. I don't really recommend three full on life because it doesn't have Megaton. Now we're gonna test it out in multiplayer. So what I've been eager for is this is a taunt monster and i am using a sorceress which is a uh, which has dodge area trait so this is going to be pretty interesting so we do uh have an elvira and all that anyways guys leaving all that beside let's talk more about this monster about its pros and its cons so first up let's talk about its pros so this monster obviously it has taunt trait unranked which i think is really really good then it obviously has a one turn cooldown skill which gives two tortures and it's dark and uh, earth type so it's only weak to light type as well so again that's also really really good and it, it sounds half decent for being a free legends fast monster which is quite easy to obtain and another quite insane thing is that this monster has the second highest life stat only behind tenegu excluding the ancestrals obviously i mean those things are buffed with their insane stats but this ishigai when comparing to multiverse monsters has the second highest life stat so that's also really really good on it and it's also got good relic slots it's got a mask if you want to remove stamina or something and it also has armor for you know self-sustaining as a tank and for its skills it's obviously got a one turn cooldown skill with nightmares and sandstorm and it's also got area nightmare skill and an area sandstorm skill so that's also really really good on its end but now let's talk about its cons what's stopping this monster from becoming that great so first off when we look at it straight rank zero taunt is obviously great but other than that all of its other skills are not good because at rank one it only gets hardened the worst umbrella trait and then at rank three it only gets a stairs cast yourself stun immunity so other than the unranked trait it's not that great any other of its traits are not great other than taunt and then its next con i would say is, is it in its move pool it basically only has one self-sustaining skill, which is a 30% heal skill. Other than that, it doesn't even have a single self-sustaining skill. And that too, this takes a two-turn cooldown and also gives stun immunity, which you also get in the status caster, which I want to address next as well. Self-stun immunity is not good as well. It's only uh, protecting you against stun and considering how many other new control effects there are, like you recently got fear and you've got roots and all that. So it's gonna not even get a turn in to sustain itself as well. And another thing which I want to talk about this monster is that its uh, skills are not unique. It's not, it's pretty like average. You can find these skills anywhere. Basically, two of his skills are just area damage plus some torture. And then it's got a single turn skill with two tortures then it's got a self-sustaining skill which is bad i guess it's unique to this monster but 
it's bad and uh, that's the cons of this monster now the main question is should you use this monster or not in your team and the answer is yes you can definitely use him if you don't have a good multiverse tank and he's actually half decent for being a free to play monster considering how many bad legends pass monsters we've had like over this um uh, season as well so really he's pretty good and uh one of the things i'm concerned is in the higher leagues there will be Justin, so he could get like destroyed over there and by the way this guy if you use him with the right uh allies he could be good like he has taunt obviously so pair him up with a dodge area monster like Eurilla divine or sorceress and see the magic happen and that's all subscribe